Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Steam 2.0 from Paul Harris Presents. What is Steam? Steam is a, uh, an older effect. This is the newer version. This is the 2.0 version. Uh, and this is a really super strong uh, mentalism effect. Uh, at its core, the spectator writes something down on a tiny little business card, and you never touch the card, you never ask for the card back, and you are able to know exactly what they wrote. A couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? All right, what's in the box? You're going to get every single thing you need. You're going to get 100 performance cards and a black marker, okay? You're going to get 50 envelopes, you're going to get a glue stick, yes, you're going to get a glue stick, and a writing pad, 50 sheets on that, and you're going to get two fortune-telling fish, yes, those old school dime store novelty trick fortune-telling fish, that's awesome. Hey, you're going to be able to perform this trick over 100 times with what's included, it's awesome. Paul Harris is giving you every single thing you need. Is it what I thought? All right, so as with most Paul Harris effects, I really didn't even know what to think. I wasn't familiar with the original Steam effect, um, but I have seen some reviews on it, uh, and this volume definitely gives you the equipment that you need. I think with the original Steam, there was a little bit more of a, a do-it-yourself kind of approach, but in this one, Paul Harris gives you everything. He's done all the research, and Right now, uh, you can actually buy the refills. Sometimes when these tricks come out, they say, oh, sometime soon the refills will come out, and then you wait and wait and wait. The refills are already out for this. So you can start doing this trick and literally turn around and buy the refills tomorrow. And, and so uh, this is a great, great, great effect. How are the angles? This trick is virtually angle proof. There's really no place a spectator can't stand other than maybe behind you, okay? that's. I would never want people behind me when I'm performing anyway. Okay? That should never be the case. But there's really not really much to cover uh, in this, so your angles are super duper clean. Can it be inspected? Pretty much everything is examinable. Pretty much everything is examinable. Um, this, this is a drawing duplication, this is a peak, so there is an element to it where you know the performer gets, gets his peak, and so that part of it obviously isn't examinable, but there's there shouldn't be anything for the spectator to question, okay? Because literally, as the ad copy says, they write it down on the card and they keep the card, okay? If they can keep it, they ne never have to give the card back to you. So for all they know, that's the part that they keep and inspect, okay? What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Um, very similar to other Paul Harris events. Uh, it's shot really well, it has a good camera, it has a good sound. It's Bro Gilbert, okay? It's Bro Gilbert teaching you everything. He's basically in a living room environment. He'll do some of his live performances, you know, out there, but uh, he's in a living room environment that has some weird eclectic, like Motley Crue type stuff behind him, and he's in Canada, okay? So you'll see that referenced time and time again. But it's really just a nice sit down, a really a cool, like personal one on one with Bro Gilbert teaching you softly in a living room. It's a great video. All right, so how's the teaching? Bro Gilbert, okay, he's gonna be teaching you for about an hour, all right, and he's talking right to the camera, okay, and most of the effects, I would say, are variations on the original plot. The, there is really only one method, and Bro is walking you through variations on that plot. And so for the hour, um, he's giving you lots of different ideas, and I think this will germinate more ideas in your head and certainly if you go out and on the internet and do research you're going to see so many people who've come up with great alternatives great new and creative ideas for this is it well made paul harris presents has taken all the time to find the absolute perfect materials for you you don't need to do any shopping you're going to get everything you need this trick is going to be surefire right out of the box how much practice does it require very little this is almost a self-working effect Really what you're doing is you're crafting a routine around the effect. The steam effect, it's almost more of a utility than it is a working magic trick. You have to come up with your own presentation and certainly if you're already doing peaks or drawing duplications or things like that, this will just fit seamlessly into those routines that you're already doing. How much setup and reset is there? Very little. Uh, you can literally pull the things out of the box 
and begin doing some of these effects right away. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to Steam 2.0? Uh, hey, if you want a clean drawing duplication, this is it. If you want a deceptive peek, this is it. If you want a convincer that you can actually read minds, this is it. If you want packs flat and plays big, this is it. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives to Steam 2.0? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. A lot of people are upset that there is an edit in the commercial. So in the commercial, there's a cut. And in that cut, they do something secret that they don't want you to see. So obviously, there's an element to this effect that they are not revealing to you from the commercial, okay? So this is just my disclaimer that there's another element to this. There's another part to this. There is a deceptive moment that they're not showing you, but I don't think that detracts from how powerful this effect is. It might get your hopes up too high and your hopes might come down a little bit when you see uh, how the effect actually plays out. But I think with a little bit of research, a little bit of practice, that, that little thing that they're editing out, it'll blow right by your spectators. They'll never notice. And I don't think it detracts from the magic at all. Is it worth your money? It's $45. $45 is not that much money. I have seen gimmicked decks for that much money. I have seen one hit wonders for that much money. This is a hundred tricks in a box and you could build tons of different routines around this, okay? There's so many ways to go with this effect. I think it's totally, totally, totally worth your money. Who would like this? Who would like this? People that are into mentalism already. People that are doing peaks, people that are doing drawing duplications, people that are doing any sort of convincers that you can read minds or see into the future would definitely love Steam 2.0. All right, so that is my review for Steam 2.0 from Ali New Era and Paul Harris Presents. I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for providing this trick for me so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase this trick for yourself, you can find it from your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.